Christian Lungard um, with uh, Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. What are your first impressions of your first ever oval laps here in the IndyCar series? It's it's actually tougher physically than I thought it would be. Uh, but I mean, like the place is huge. It's going around out there is, is pretty fast. I mean, not knowing what to expect and just going out there and you know going in the one for the first lap, pretty much shitting your pants. Um, but you know, like once you once you build it up and you go go around. 20 laps or so, you know, you get a feel for for the grip and the downfalls of the car and what it can really do. And then once you commit, you kind of understand and you build up to it. And I think now, you know, I'm at a at a place where I'm pretty comfortable to to keep running and you know build more, well, trim the car more uh, from where we started out and, and you know just increase the speeds. But I, I'm I'm enjoying it so far. It's it's pretty special, you know, for a first time around the oval track. This something many drivers dream of uh, even though not knowing that that they're dreaming of it because I mean I, I grew up in the European culture and never really expecting to come here but, you know now experiencing it uh, I'm pretty sure I want to do it some more what's that sensation for you when you finally get off pit road you get onto the track and then you get into turn three finally and you're getting ready to get that first build-up lap but you start to feel the banking and the compression and the G loads I mean what's that sensation like I mean going out Especially on new tires, going out straight into three uh, on, on new tires, it's it's pretty difficult to commit because you don't know how much grip you're going to have. Um, and you know that kind of outlaw building up is is the one you can make the biggest difference on, uh, other than your actual laps. Um, so it, it's about commitment and about the trust in the car. And, and you know, as a rookie, it's quite difficult to have that straight away. But I think. We're getting to a point now where I'm feeling pretty confident in the car that we can trim it more and be there quickly. you got Graham Rahal, obviously, who helped shake the car down in the morning, kind of in your ear to help progress things for you, help the learning curve. What's some of the advice that he's been able to give you trying to get acclimated to Texas Motor Speedway? Have a solid grade. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if it wiggles, come in, because there's no point in trying. Uh, I, I think that's probably the biggest uh, advice that he's, he's given me yet. Um, but you know, it's as a rookie, it is difficult. And I mean, Graham has, has done extremely well at all. He's been very close to the 500 a few times, but missing out for, for different reasons. You know, he's always been, been good. And he won here a couple of years ago and in 2016 as well. So, you know, he's, he's been, been quite successful around here, and having him help me is, is a big help. I know Jack is actually quite, quite solid around here as well. Um, it would have been good to have him as well, but uh, you know, I, I got to do it with Graham. Uh, he's, he's doing a good job trying to teach me how to get around. Thanks, buddy.